A young girl from Florida is showing just how much one determined person can indeed accomplish, making a difference for those who still need so much help. Life is life. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to make Haiti the best place in the world. And then it happens at the snap of fingers. You have to work at it. You have to make it happen. It's been a while since uh, th that news story. You were nine years old when you started uh, this venture. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Very what little. Was, <laughs> what was the spark? So we went on, me and my mom went on a tour of the Food for the Poor headquarters in Coral Springs. And we saw a ton of before and after pictures of what Food for the Poor was able to do with their impact there. And I immediately was jumping on board saying, what can I do to help? I was raising my hand, asking questions about what did you do? How did you raise this money? How did you do that? And I was only nine and I was the youngest among all these business people that I was with on this tour. And immediately we started, we came up with the idea of Rachel's Baker's Dozen, which was the project of raising money to build 13 homes in Haiti. And so that project escalated so quickly. I started with hosting fundraisers like dress down days or bake sales at my school, bringing in all of these people in the community that have been helping me. And I just knew it was not the end. 12 years later, two housing communities and a school. It's amazing to see what a nine-year-old could do. I can't wait to see what you do next. Rachel Wheeler, God bless you. This has been a production of Food for the Poor, united in God's work.